Hi folks, how are you all? Hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to start a new chapter from 9th class, chapter 6, the lines and angles. So what are these lines and angles? Everybody knows it. You know, straight lines, angles, the Q, acute angles, subcuse angles, everything you know it. So how many points do you need minimum to draw a line? Guess minimum two points. When you have only two points, you can draw a line. That's it. And uh, suppose if you want to say line is again the collection of many, many, many points. Put a dot, 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 and join all the dots, and uh, then you will get a line. So, but minimum you need have you need to have a two dots or two points to have a line. And what are the angles? Do you see any angles around us? Yes, there is an angle. There is an angle here. There is an angle here. There is an angle here. In this room where I am recording, there are so many angles. The fan. The fans has got angles. Everybody has got angles. So many angles in our day-to-day -day life. So what, let us go and see in depth a little more, what are these lines and what are these angles. You are already aware of all these things in your previous classes, but I will be giving you a little more insight into the lines and angles. So let us see line. So what is a line? So let me read. It is a collection of points, I said already, which has only length, no breadth. Line is a line. You all know it. When you draw with a pen, you draw a line. Do you draw a line, this much big line? You draw a simple line like that. So a line. So line here, this is a line. Line is a A, B. That is a simple line. Line can, ex can be extended both the sides. Line can be extended both the sides. Then what is a line segment? A portion of line with two end points. You have two end points? Ah, then it is a, a line segment. Line, what is a line? Line is an endless thing. Line is an endless thing. But what is a line segment? A portion of the line with two points, A, B. Uh -huh. Two end points, that is a line segment. Then what is a ray? A part of line with one end point is called ray. Ray, suppose ray. Started with a dot and extends, goes on. That is a ray. You understood? One, one is a line, endless, a line segment, a portion of the line, ray starts with one point and it goes on endless. That is a ray. Then what is collinear points? Collinear points. If you have A, B, C, three points on the same line, you call them as a collinear points, collinear. So what are the non-collinear points? If they are not there on the line, they are non-collinear points. So if three or more points lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. Otherwise, they are called non-collinear. So that's, that's what you should remember. Then again, what is an angle? How do you define an angle? Yeah, when two rays originate from the same end points. Here, look at here, this is in one vertex here and one arm is going this side and one arm is going this side and this is called an angle. When two rays originate from the same end point, they form an angle, they form an angle. One is going this side, one is going this side and they form one angle. The rays making an angle are called arms. Arms, arms means arms. So this is a, this is a one arm, this is another arm, the two arms. The end points are called vertex. This end point where the rays are beginning, the ray is going this side, the ray is going this side. Those two are called arms. The start point is called here or you can call an end point that is a vertex. That's it. So you all know it already but still I just want you to get into this. Then what are the types of angles? 
this is an introductory class you all know them but still it is good to revise so what are the types of angles what is this angle you know it already tell me it is acute angle acute acute angle acute acute angle it is between 0 and 90 degrees an angle which is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees called acute angle and you know right angle you know right angle right angle is an angle with 90 degrees is called right angle you know that and obtuse angle they call obtuse angle ah like that so it is an obtuse angle more than 90 less than 180 more than 90 less than 180 it is an obtuse angle obtuse angle acute angle right angle obtuse angle and uh, this is a straight line then you have a an angle and we can call it as a, a straight angle if somebody asks you what is a straight angle you should be able to say 180 degrees 180 degrees is a, a straight line Ah, so what is this angle? This is angle. So this particular angle is called a reflex angle. A reflex angle. Reflex angle is between 180 degrees and this much. This is this much. Ah, starts from here and ah, it's more than 180 degrees and less than less than. less than 360 degrees so let us go let us see some more thing later this is an acute angle we have seen this is a right angle you know it already obtuse angle we know it already uh, yes this is a straight angle this is a reflex angle more than 180 degrees and this angle starts here and makes one full round we call it as a full angle exactly 360 degrees 360 degrees 360 degrees always we call it as a full a full a complete angle that's good that's good so we have seen we have seen uh, different types of angles so now let us see what are the complementary angles and what are the supplementary angles so complementary angles are nothing but uh, so you take a right angle this angle will be complementary to this this angle will be complementary to this the sum of the two angles will be 90 degrees that is called as a complementary angles okay what are the supplementary angles supplementary angles are both angles you have two angles one angle is this one angle is this both of them together will be 180 degrees so this is an angle a this is an angle b and a plus b will be 180 degrees so if it is a 180 degrees they are called supplementary angles and if the sum of the two angles are 90 degrees then we call them as an complementary angles remember complementary angles supplementary angles that's a, that's a beautiful concept okay let us see what are the adjacent angles what are the adjacent angles okay okay b is a common vertex b is a common vertex and one ray is going this side towards a one ray is going towards c and there is a ray starts from b to d ah and this ray is a, a common arm common arm for these two angles common arm for two angles therefore these two angles we call them as angle abd angle abd and angle cbd angle cbd these two are called adjacent angles what is adjacent angle adjacent angle means baju mein baju mein side 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 this is side this is a side okay so that means these two angles have got the common common arm common arm so when you have a common arm we call them as an adjacent angles adjacent angles okay so good what are the linear pair of angles earlier we saw it as supplementary angles when we see the supplementary angles okay 
these two are called supplementary angles those two of them we can together we can call them as a we can call them as a linear pairs are linear pairs of angles linear pairs are two adjacent angles that create a line that create a line the two angles are supplementary supplementary that means they two become 180 degrees those okay these are vertically opposite lines angles what are the vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect there are angles that happen angles are formed these two angles are vertically opposite these two angles are vertically opposite angles so whenever we say vertically opposite angles you should imagine immediately like that whenever we say adjacent angles you have to imagine like this whenever i say linear pairs of a linear pairs and you should imagine this way so this is the more or less introduction of the angles okay lines so what kind of lines you can have so these two are two lines these are intersecting lines these two are non intersecting lines non intersecting lines are called called as a parallel lines parallel lines these are all these two are not parallel lines non intersecting lines are parallel lines and the distance between the distance between the distance between the two parallel lines is always equal the distance between two parallel lines when you draw the perpendiculars from one parallel line to the other parallel line those will be equal those will be equal that much you should understand from uh, from this okay the pairs of angle here we are coming into axioms what are these axioms axioms means they cannot be changed you have to believe them so what are these angle axioms so these two axioms we have 6.1 and 6.2 these two axioms they were simple axioms they the simple rules these two axioms are called linear pair axioms linear pair axiom what is axiom number 1 if a ray stands on a line there is a line if a ray stands like that the two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degrees you know it already it is a complementary angles or you can say it also if the sum of the two adjacent angles baju mein two angles hai and the sum of them is 180 degrees we can call we can that ray stands on that particular line we can say that so if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 then a ray stands on that particular line so these two axioms are same this is a simple understandable that but we need to make uh, we need to remember so second axiom if the sum of the two adjacent angles is 180 then the non common arms of the angles form a line if the sum of the two adjacent angles the two adjacent angles are there there is one common arm whenever you have an adjacent angles you have a common arm common arm so non common arms they form a line they form a line these are the two axioms so that we that we have so if that is the case if that is the case what will be the theorem number 1 says So let us proceed with the theorem number one. So, what does the theorem number one say? If two lines intersect each other, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. So, what is given here? For us, given here two lines AB, AB, and CD, CD are intersecting at the point O. So, what we have to prove? This angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle. so this so that is that's what we have to we have to prove so how do we how do we prove it how do we prove it so let us see there are two two lines there are two lines ah uh, this green angles this red angles they are equal we have to we have to prove it so to prove vertically opposites are equal that is to be proved that means angle aoc angle aoc is equal to angle bod angle aod is equal to angle boc boc so that is what we have to prove so let us take one line line on line ab so ab in a on line ab angle aoc and angle boc what is the sum of them 
on a line these two angles they are uh, linear pairs linear pairs means 180 degrees 180 degrees very good on line cd on line cd again angle aod plus angle aoc 180 degrees so if these two equations 1 and 2 the two equations are equal so that's what i said these two equations are equal so when the two equations are equal just observe it angle aoc plus boc is equal to angle aod plus angle aoc aoc eoc strike that we strike it theo theo then what do you remain angle boc is equal to angle aod angle boc is equal to angle b o c is equal to angle a o d these two are vertically opposite angles we proved it that's it in the same way you prove the other way the same way so that's hence we can prove these two angles are vertically opposite angles so with this we we end this uh, class we end this session and uh, if till here if you know you will complete the introduction of uh, lines and angles and two axioms and one theorem in the next session we will go for examples and the exercise study well listen to the video again and again and you will get to understanding of uh, lines and angles completely bye bye